To solve the equation, we want to determine the value of x that satisfies the equation or makes the equation true. In order to solve, we need to isolate the variable on one side of the equation, which means for the first step, we need to simplify both sides of the equation. On the left side, we need to eliminate the parentheses, and because of the subtraction here, we distribute negative three, and then we combine like terms. And on the right side, we combine like terms. So again, clearing the parentheses, we have two, and then negative three times x is negative three x, giving us minus three x. And then negative three times negative four is positive 12, giving us plus 12. And we still have plus x equals, on the right side, on the right side, six minus 18 is negative 12. And now we combine like terms on the left side. We have two x terms, and we have two constants. Combining the x terms first, negative three x plus x, or if we want negative three x plus one x is negative two x. And then two plus 12 is equal to 14, giving us plus 14 equals negative 12. The next step is to isolate the variable term of negative two x. To undo the plus 14, we subtract 14 on both sides of the equation. Simplifying, 14 minus 14 is zero. The left side simplifies to negative two x, which is equal to negative 12 minus 14, which is negative 26. For the last step, negative two x means negative two times x, and therefore to solve for x, we undo the multiplication by dividing both sides by negative two. Simplifying, negative two divided by negative two simplifies to one, one times x is x x is equal to negative 26 divided by negative two, which is equal to positive 13. The solution to the equation is x equals 13, which means if we substitute 13 for x back into the original equation, it will satisfy the equation or make the equation true. And let's go ahead and check this. Performing the substitution gives us two minus three times the quantity 13 minus four plus 13 equals six minus 18. And now let's evaluate the left side on the calculator. Notice the left side simplifies to negative 12. On the right side we have six minus 18, which is also negative 12. Negative 12 equals negative 12 is true. Verifying the solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.